For this next routine, we're doing the pigeon pose against the wall. What is so great about the pigeon pose is that it really helps to open up and strengthen your hip joints and stabilize them. And by stabilizing your hips, you're also stabilizing your entire spine. The only thing with the pigeon pose is that it's very difficult. And to do the pigeon pose, you really have to warm your body up before you try to go into this position. We use the wall and the strap in the pigeon pose to help you to uh, stretch out deeper into the hamstrings, into the quads. And again, by doing that, your hips begin to loosen up. So it's kind of working in, a, in layers to be able to restore your body. So let's go ahead and begin with Mary Arlene going into a, a pigeon pose. She's going to bring her right leg way back with the strap in your right foot. And I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the pigeon pose as she goes into this alignment. She has her hand planted. She brings her left knee forward and try to line her left heel up to her left knee in a parallel position the best that you can. Mainly what you're looking for is you want to be able to bring your hips in alignment. That both hips are forward and they're horizontal from each other. So she kind of brings her right hip forward and she brings her left, left hip back. And having her hands on the ground, she can kind of push away a little bit and bring her head up and pull herself in that back bend and kind of lean back a little bit and that'll help open the hips even more. Her leg is uh, planted really nice, lining her right heel up in line with her tailbone. Okay, so you got that alignment going on. You're not sinking down, but you're pushing away and lifting up as you allow your hips to relax a little bit. You also want to keep your tummy in and up, so that way you're not straining into your low back. So keeping that tummy slightly tucked in, in and up, and drawing your blades down will support your spine and at the same time lengthen the muscles in your abdomen and into your hips. From there, you're going to go ahead and grab your strap with your left hand. Good. And we'll begin to use the wall here. She's going to put both hands on the wall. Good. Now that she got herself in that beautiful alignment at the beginning, she can go ahead and take it a step further by just gently putting her hand on the wall with a strap. And you're going to see what happens here in her quads is that she's really opening up those hips now by just having her hand on the wall and pulling that right leg in. Her chest is forward as she inhales, dropping her blades down and really lengthening her spine. It's a beautiful deep stretch. You have to work yourself into this, but you can see what's going on in her hips. It's really opening up really nice. You breathe in deeply. You try to relax your body into this position, pushing away with your hand from the wall to lift up your torso. And exhale. 